Friction is often something that we want to overcome. Friction opposes, in many cases, what we're doing. If we try to move something, friction is working against us. And so we, we often need to try to minimize the friction. And one obvious way to minimize the friction is to use wheels. If, you're, if you are trying to drag something across the floor and you hook a rope to it and, and you pull, well, just sliding something across the floor, that could be a lot of work. Obviously, as you know, putting it on wheels can really help out. Moving something on wheels is no trouble at all. That's because rolling friction tends to be very, very low. Rolling friction tends to be much less than static or kinetic friction by a wide margin. So, the and there's issues with wheels though. You can't just put uh, put something on a wheel. Let's draw the most simple possible wheel here. Let's imagine. I'll try to draw this. This would be what we call the axle, and it would go through the wheel like this and then there would be another wheel over here. So you can have something like this, put a couple of these together and then the load, the weight that you're trying to move would rest on the axle and then this could roll across the ground. Now there's a problem here in that if you have, say you try to make a, a a cart like this and you're going to move something around and you have a couple of these and you have it so that the weight rests on the axle and then the wheels can roll you're going to have friction right in here right where the axle meets the wheel and that friction is going to cause a lot of wear and tear um, here especially down at the bottom where the load rests although the bottom it doesn't really matter because it's always rotating all around where there's contact between the axle and the wheel there's going to be friction and a lot of wear and tear. If you draw a side view here, let's look, let's imagine looking straight in the end here. What they what they typically do is put an axle and there's this space around it and inside there are a lot of little tiny balls, what they call ball bearings and they're sealed in there, this is packed in there. But the the axle can now, the, the inner part here, the axle can now rotate and can slide around freely inside the wheel with very low friction because of all these ball bearings. And if they're actually little steel balls, that's typically what they are, little tiny steel balls, they're called ball bearings. Sometimes they're little tiny steel cylinders called roller bearings but they do the same thing either way they bear the load that's why they're called bearings if you have the weight here resting down resting pushing down on the axle you can imagine the axle then pushing down this way and it rests right here on the bearings so they're, they're called bearings because they bear the weight they bear the load but they allow the axle here to rotate with very low friction and typically not only do they have um, the little balls or cylinders that can roll, so you have very low rolling friction, it's typically lubricated. This is all sealed up. There's a cap on the end and grease is packed in there. And the lubrication reduces the friction even further. And if you have something like, say, a boat trailer that you're going to be pulling for miles and miles, you really want to reduce the friction because the friction tends to generate heat and you know that already you know that friction generates heat because on a cold day you have probably rubbed your hands together to keep them warm and the friction is what's causing the heat and so if you have if you have unnecessary friction down in here where the the axle is contacting the wheel you can generate a lot of heat you can get an axle to melt to heat up hot enough to melt in a situation like this so you want very low friction so they use not only roller bearings or, or ball bearings but lubricated bearings that reduce friction uh, tr to tremendously low numbers you typically don't see the ball bearings or the roller bearings because it's they're covered in and sealed up so they don't fall out but um, sometimes you can hear them if you take something like a skateboard wheel and you spin it and you hear this rattling inside you're hearing the bearings uh, rattling around inside they're sometimes knocking against each other but that's what that's what's going on and that's what they're there for to reduce the friction